Uh, now, if you are walking around Southampton or Winchester this summer and come face to face with a giant hair, don't panic, it's not too much sun. 30 of the beautifully decorated sculptures have been placed around the two cities as part of the Hairs of Hampshire Trail, which runs until the end of August. Well, it's the brainchild of actor Sarah Parrish to raise money for Southampton Children's Hospital. And as Rachel Hepworth reports, it has also inspired a unique painting from a very special young artist. <laughs> when the Hairs of Hampshire was launched by the irrepressible Sarah Parrish, it was impossible not to get caught up in her enthusiasms. <laughs> now the 30 uniquely decorated hairs have settled into their new homes around the streets of Winchester and Southampton, delighting visitors who can follow the trail on an interactive phone app. Each was designed by a local artist, inspired by everything from nature to Doctor Who. It's wonderful going out and seeing them. And whenever I'm walking around Winchester, I can see children doing the tours with their parents and taking selfies and just having a lovely time. Southampton sort of come alive with them. And I think after the last two years that we had, it's a sort of very glorious and lovely thing for people to do. Today, Sarah is meeting up with another artist, Jilly from Romsey, who's causing a stir in the art world. Adopted from Cambodia as a baby, she was the only survivor of triplets, abandoned on a hospital doorstep. She has cerebral palsy, is deaf and cannot speak. But despite her challenges, she's able to create beautiful works of art, like this London landscape displayed at the Limewood Hotel in Lyndhurst. Today, she's drawing a hair. Her eye for animals is, is incredible. It's amazing to watch, I think, and overcoming all her physical difficulties in, in the way that she does to create such magical, colourful, beautiful pieces, I think is a real inspiration. Chile has worked hard to develop her skills and style, gripping the watercolour pencils backwards. The marks might appear random at first, but each is intentional, which becomes clear as the picture emerges. It's fabulous. Every day we wake up, she's got her pad of paper out and she's ready to start a new piece. It's a miracle to watch it unfold in front of your eyes, so we're lucky we get to see it all the time. In less than an hour, Chile completes her painting with her own unique heart signature. She, indeed everyone, is thrilled. Look at that. I love the ears. And the glimpse in the eye. Yeah, the, the glint in the eye. That is a beautiful hair. Bling. You're a very clever girl. Chile, you got a 10, 10, 10. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. It was a good hair day. <laughs> Chili's paintings sell for thousands and in September this one will be auctioned alongside all the hairs of Hampshire for the Murray Parish Trust, which has raised an amazing £5 million so far for Southampton's Children's Hospital. The trail itself continues until the end of August, so there is still time to see them in situ. Rachel Hepworth, ITV News, in Lyndhurst. Wow, they are beautiful, but how talented. Really talented. You have to draw like that. Yeah, more talented than her dad's comedy, because that was a proper dad joke at the end there. But we appreciated oh, it all the same. He tried, he yeah, did yeah, try. Yeah. Now, Holly's here, and it's been another hot day, Holly, but this heat wave...